want to get done. I mean, she was acting like I was an inconvenience to her because I came to her job where she works at. She was aggy for no reason. Then after that, I meet up with this Puerto Rican chick that lives around my neighborhood and she promised to make some coquito for me. Well, she made it and it's trash. Basura. I mean, absolutely garbage. And it got me tight because, you know, she got hair on her forearms. She's a true Puerto Rican. I thought she know how to do these type of things. It's sitting in the fridge right now. I don't even want to touch it anymore. She lucky I didn't pay for it. Because if I did, I would have blocked her on guard. So if you know how to make Coquito, hit me up. My Coquito Connect died last year from alcohol poisoning. They said it was too much coquito. But let's get into the topic at hand. First, I want to touch on the two men that were shot on Wednesday and Thursday in separate incidents across the city. Now, a 27-year-old man was blasted in the chest inside of a building near Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn around 6.45 a.m. The cops say he was taken to Kings County Hospital, and fortunately, he is in critical but stable condition. However, as we hear from time and time again when I read these reports, he was too uncooperative with authorities. Also, around 7.40 p.m. Wednesday, a 32-year-old was blasted in the lower back and torso in the hallway of a building near East 164th Street in the concourse section of the Bronx. Now, real quick before I continue. Yo, why does New York Post always say blasted? This guy got blasted in the leg. This guy got blasted in the head. Like, what is that about? But let's continue. The 32-year-old man was rushed to Lincoln Medical Center, where he was unfortunately pronounced dead. Now, the circumstances to the shootings are unclear. However, that homicide was Wednesday's only shooting. Now, as you can see, it seemed like New York City slowed down a little bit. However, that did not last long. Because it looks like two U.S. Marshals were shot in the Bronx by a fugitive who was wanted in a shooting of a Massachusetts state trooper. Now, I know you guys remember when homeboy shot both of the cops in Queens because his girl decided to call the Jakes and they moitered him. Well, let's listen to this news clip and I'll be back with my commentary. We're following breaking news, a shooting in the Bronx reportedly involving law enforcement officers. It happened around 5.30 this morning in the Wakefield section. CBS News' John Diaz has more. Mm. Yeah, police sources are telling me that it was an investigative tip that led them here to this location. Now, this afternoon, the main suspect is dead, another in custody, and three officers are recovering at the hospital. Now, Damn. police sources say that earlier this morning, a New York, New Jersey regional fugitive tip task force had a warrant and was attempting to arrest 35 year old Andre Sterling on Eli Avenue in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. When two U.S. deputy marshals entered the house, a shootout began. One officer was shot in his arm and thigh, the other in his leg. Sheesh. And a third officer, this one, an NYPD detective who was perimeter security, injured his leg after he rushed in to help. Now, the officers fatally shot Sterling and a second suspect was taken to the hospital for an injury he sustained during the arrest. Now, Massachusetts State Police had been searching for Sterling for weeks. He was considered armed and dangerous, even on the state's most wanted list after he allegedly shot and injured state trooper John Lennon on November 20th at a traffic stop on Cape Cod. It's believed he was hiding out Damn. in the Bronx. That wasn't even and authorities that long are not ago. saying what crimes that second suspect is facing or the relation to Sterling, but sources telling me though someone will most likely be facing harboring a fugitive allegations. We are also told that all three officers are expected to be okay. They're expected to make full recoveries. All right. Well, there you have it, people. First Queens, now the Bronx. But the Bronx ain't even shooting NYPD. They shot two U.S. Marshals. That's like four stars, right? That's like four stars. They going crazy out here in New York City at this point. First Queens is shooting cops and now the Bronx is shooting U.S. Marshals? Y'all making it mad hot, B. Now, yeah, that was crazy. But yo, it looks like the Bronx 
just can't stop and won't stop. Did you guys see the video of a bunch of savages running up in Burlington Coat Factory? Stealing wild coats? You gotta check this out. Police are investigating the theft of dozens of coats from two Bronx stores just days apart. Back on October 28th, the NYPD says six people seen here stole yeah, like, 24 coats from a Burlington me, store on 3rd Avenue in the Melrose Stupid. section. Investigators say three days later, nine people used suitcases to take 56 coats from a Burlington store on Baychester Avenue. No, no. arrests have been made in either incident. No. no. <laughs> Police are investigating the theft of dozens of coats from two Bronx stores just days apart. Back on October 28th, the NYPD says six people seen here stole 24 coats from a Burlington store 24. on 3rd Avenue in the Melrose section. Investigators say three days later, nine people used suitcases to take 56 coats from a Burlington store on Baychester Avenue. No arrests have been made in either incident. Yo. Yo. Yo, they wildin'. How they, <laughs> how they, they stole 24 coats. Wait, 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 wait. Forget the 24 coats. They they went inside of a store with a bunch of suitcases and walked out with like 96 coats. What's really good. Like they don't even care at this point. Look at the video. The security guard had no chance, bro. It was over. They didn't even take him serious. Look at them. Get off me, dummy. I'm leaving with these coats. My baby mama and her friends said that they need coats. Get off of me. And you know they gonna sell those coats, right? As a matter of fact, didn't they do this like a few weeks back in the Montclair store? Or am I bugging out? Look, don't quote me on that, but I believe that they did this same thing in the Montclair store a few weeks ago. No funny if you one of those niggas that hit that Montclair store, hit me up, jerr. We needs that over here. But just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier during this week it looks like a man was shot driving on the belt parkway by star right city in east new york brooklyn now i'm gonna show you this clip real quick check it out breaking news happening in brooklyn where police are saying a man was shot while driving on the belt parkway and now investigators are trying to track down the shooter cbs 2's corey james live in canarsie right now corey and Maurice and Christine, this has created quite a mess on this wet and Friday afternoon, especially as many people are trying to travel along the stretch of road to head home from work. But take a look behind me. You can see the vehicle that is involved. It's right behind this NYPD tow truck that just arrived moments ago. We're told it appears that that driver was shot and crashed his vehicle into other cars along Geneva Loop and Pennsylvania Avenue here. Take a look at this footage so that gives you a better and closer look at the damage uh. left behind from the impact that involved more than one car. Damn. But it is this car where you can see a gunman peppered this black BMW with bullets leaving marks on both the driver's front and back doors. Authorities say that 22-year-old driver was traveling eastbound on Belt Parkway when someone opened fire on him. He then managed to get off the parkway at exit 13 before crashing hitting at least two parked cars. One of those vehicles, believed to be driven by the victim, also had its airbags deployed because of the hard collision. That man, though, was shot once in the back and taken to Brookdale Hospital, according to investigators, and he is expected to recover. But back here live, you can see this black Audi sedan here. That's the driver crazy. of this vehicle just arrived moments ago. He was collecting things out of his car. He said he just got off work when he saw his front bumper torn off and on the sidewalk. And he also said he just got this car about a month ago, and he believes he will likely just have to get a new one because it's totaled. Oh, but again, tight. this is just a look at that drive-by shooting that started on the parkway, then ended here in this area. Multiple cars at this time. There is no description of the shooter or shooters. And at this time, we also do not know if this is the result of road rage, if it was targeted or random. We're live in Carnarsie, Brooklyn. Corey James, CBS 2 News. Okay. You know what it was. It was the woos versus the chews. But seriously, it's a very unfortunate situation. You got people shooting each other on the Bell Parkway. My main issue was this. Why are they calling Star Right City Carnarsie? Is Star Right City considered Carnarsie? Don't you have to go past, like, Brooklawn to get to Canarsie? Or am I wrong? Like, say if they was more further down Pennsylvania Avenue and they was by Linden Houses, would they also consider that Canarsie? Pull up in the comment section and tell me if I'm wrong. 
but pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about these few incidents that took place throughout New York City. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button.